Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? I know, it's been a long time. It's me, Boba, and I'm back with you guys for another opening on this channel. And today for you, I have the Celebrations Premium Playmat Collection Box. Um, big shout out to my sister for picking this up for me. I was really, really happy to, uh, to be able to get my hands on just any Celebrations product for you guys. As you can see, it comes with the Pikachu V Union, uh, jumbo card of that, Celebrations packs, uh, I think some packs from more uh, recent sets, and as well as a playmat. Uh, so super excited to get into this uh, with you guys. Um, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing really well. I hope everyone was able to get their hands on some product. Um, you know, I know this stuff is going uh, pretty crazy right now, and the set is absolute, absolutely ridiculous. So I did um, happen to open a Zacian pin collection box, and I got some pretty cool pulls out of that. Uh, if anything, I'll be putting that on my Instagram. Uh, what I pulled in that. For anybody who's still coming and watching these videos, um, I appreciate all of the support. I really do. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, welcome. And uh, consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment on what you think about celebrations and if you guys uh, pull anything crazy. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the celebrations box. <laughs> So, as you can see right here, uh, we have the Premium Playmat Collection box. Um, it is definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was uh, when I first saw it in person. Um, so it'll probably take me a little while for me to open this, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to everything just being already opened. A few moments later. Okay, and there we go guys. Um, so, uh, as you can see, uh, it does come with six, yeah, six packs of the celebrations. And then we have a Chilling Rain, a Vivid Voltage, and Battle Styles um, packs. Uh, it does come with the jumbo version of the Pikachu V Union, which is super, super cute, having, what was it, 25 uh, Pikachu illustrations on here. So really, really cool. Um, I think the Old Man Pikachu is definitely my favorite. <laughs> so let's put it off to the side. And then also the uh, V Union card itself for the TCG. Um, that is playable. Uh, I have yet to uh, get into figuring out how the V Union cards work, um, but I, it is definitely something that I want to look into. So really, really cool. Um, and I like how it's textured on the borders of these cards. It's really, really cool. Um, so we'll just also set that off to the side. It also came with a new professor card, uh, Professor Burnett. Uh, so search for your deck up to two cards and discard them, and then shuffle your deck. So, uh, not too bad. I mean, I guess it would be pretty good just depending on what kind of deck you play. It's really, really cool. And then, of course, here is the playmat. Okay, so there we go. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, it's got like the Pikachu tail, very iconic. And then it has the 25 uh, years uh, symbol. And then it says train on. So, really, really cool playmat. Very sleek, very just simple. I like that. Um, but for now, we'll just use the one I'm using right now, the Marnie one. Okay, so. Now to the main part, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start opening these. So I'm gonna leave the celebrations for last and we'll go through these. So we'll go in order, so we'll just go the Vivid Voltage. Um, it's been a long time since I've opened Vivid Voltage. I don't think I opened it that much um, when it first came out. Um, so this should be definitely a treat for us. Uh, for the front. Okay, we're starting off with a Fighting Energy. Uh, we've got a Swallow, we've got League Staff, uh, Charmeleon, Chatot, Joltik, uh, Cottony, got a Mudbray, Playing in the Mud, Slugma. Ooh, okay, that's a pretty good hit. So we have a Reverse Hollow of the Charizard with the Leon um, in the back. Really, really nice. Love this card. And a Beedrill. So no problem. Not bad way to start off with the Charizard, of course. Can't complain. Okay. So go ahead with the Chilling Rain. See, looking for, still looking for Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX um, would be, I guess, the card or I guess any of the alternate arts would definitely be really good. Um, so let's see what we can get. Starting off with the Lightning Energy, uh, we have the Kakuna, Path to the Peak, Citrum, uh, we have Sobble, Meditating, I love this card, Bound Sweet, Fur Frog, got a Diglett. Uh, Larvesta, we have a Reverse Hollow Zarude, looking hella menacing. 
and a Zero Aura V. Very, very nice. So, not bad. So we have two hits out of the two regular packs. Not complaining. Last pack is the Battle Styles. Um, I personally really, really like this set. Um, Battle Styles, I think it's probably one of the favorites out of the more recent sets. Um, I don't know why. Just I think it's just uh, geared more towards the actual TCG. A lot of a lot of playable cards, so I really enjoy that. All right, so we're looking for a Darkness Energy. We have Swordward and Shield Burt, Fly Sharp, uh, Menacing Gold Bat, Salandit, Roly Coley, Esper. Got a Shinx doing handstand down the stairs. Blitbug. Uh, we have a Reverse Hollow Dewblade, and. Ooh, a holographic hound doom. This is a really, actually, a really, really good card. I just bought a bunch of singles of this one, um, but this is pretty much a uh, single strike engine for any single strike decks um, with its single strike roar. Uh, very, very good card in searching for uh, energies and attaching it. It's really, really nice. And now onto the main thing. So we have celebrations. Um, so I did pull. Uh, my top chase card, which is pretty much the Professor's Reacher's full art, which features the Professor Oak, as everybody knows. Um, but, you know, let's just see what we can get. Um, I think every hit um, in this set is just amazing. Got the reprints, and then of course you have these new ones, so like this Groudon starting off. Uh, we have the Lugia, very nice. I did not pull this in the, uh, the Zacian pin box, so nice. Reshiram, I love the art. And we're starting off with the Mew. There we go. Very nice Mew. Um, I did not pull this one, so glad to be pulling a new card. Okay. Going on to the second celebrations pack. So I hope everybody um, was able to get at least maybe one product or was able to open something. Uh, I know, like I said, celebrations has been pretty crazy with the, all the scalping and crazy prices for packs of four cards. Um, so definitely wait. I'm sure there's more uh, reprints on the way. So Kyogre, uh, we have the Ho-Oh. Ooh, okay, so there's our first, I guess, a big hit uh, with the reprints. So we have a, here comes Team Rocket. I do have the original one, um, but I really, really like this card. You know, it has Jesse and James, Meowth, the classics, um, in terms of the Team Rocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that one up. Very, very nice. Okay, and then we're ending off with a Sol, Sol Galio, Sol Galeo, however you want to say it with Lily in the back. Really nice. All right, not bad. Okay, so uh, on to the third pack. Let me know down in the comments um, what your chase card is, whether it's the, the Golden Mew, or uh, I guess the Charizard, or you know one of the big three. Let me know. All right, so we're starting off the third pack with Yveltal. I love this art on the Yveltal. Uh, with the Cosmog, throwing a Temper Tantrum with a Lily and her Lily's Polka Doll, which is really cool. Uh, I really like cards that tell um, a story. Starting off with another Lugia and a Lun Lunala. <laughs> very nice. Yep, very good. Okay. All right, so we're on to the fourth pack. Let's see what we can get. So we're starting off with Lugia again. I uh, definitely just love this art so much. Lugia being the more favorite of Ho-Oh, uh, just for me. Uh, Groudon. We have another Cosmog. Oh. And a Flying Pikachu V. Very nice. I did get the Surfing Pikachu V Max in the uh, Zacian pin box that I pulled. Um, so that's really, really nice. So I love the reprint. Um, of these classic secret rare Pokemon, or the Pikachu, I guess. Really, really cool. And uh, if you didn't know, um, which is really, really cool, let's see if my camera can focus, um, the symbol um, at the bottom uh, for the set is actually the kanji for two and five, so for 25, so which would make sense. Um, so just a little bit of a, a fact. Okay, so we're going to the second to the last pack. So definitely not complaining about the hits. Um, you know, got the uh, return rock. Here comes. You wait. You could. You do. You wait. You Team Rocket reprint. And then we got the new flying Pikachu V so far. So pretty good. 
see if we can get anything super crazy. Starting off with another Yvelto, uh, Reshiram. We have the Kyogre. I love this art with the Team Aqua. Really, really nice. And same goes for the Groudon. Really nice. Team Magma. And another Professor's Research. <laughs> Very nice. So that is that is my second one of uh, this one. And as you know, Professor's Research is an extremely playable card, so this will be a very nice like flex or I guess in your deck if you want to use that. Very cool. All right, guys. So last celebrations pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic on this one and see if we can pull something crazy. Okay. Wow. Oh my I'm god. Totally butchering this uh, pack. Okay. All right, starting off with Palkia. I do not have Palkia, so that's really nice. Oh, oh, love the art on this one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> that is some last pack magic right there. We have the reprint of the uh, base set Charizard. Wow, that's crazy. And I love the texture on that. That's absolutely crazy. Um, I'm not like the biggest Charizard um, fan, um, you know, just it being Charizard, everyone loves Charizard, right? Um, but definitely not going to complain on that last pack magic. And we did get um, a regular Professor's Research, which is surprisingly, uh, I did not pull uh, this one. Um, I've seen a bunch of people pull like multiples of this one, but I seem to always get the full art. But like I said, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Uh, the reprint of the Pacehead Charizard, um, which I would assume a lot of people are going for, or the Secret Golden Mew. Um, so yeah. Alright. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this opening. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was definitely a lot of fun. Um, you know, if I can get into some more celebrations in the future, definitely will open that up. But given that it's such a small set, um, this might be um, the most that I'll probably open. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, and you know, maybe give other people who haven't had a chance to open this product a chance to get some, get their hands on it. Because um, I believe that everybody should be able to open this product or these products, um, have fun doing it, getting some awesome crazy cards, some amazing reprints, and everybody should be allowed to celebrate uh, Pokemon um, with each other. So, uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay positive. Peace out, y'all.